guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of what I bring in a carry-on on the plane when I travel. So Rob and I are going to Wisconsin this weekend to celebrate two of our friends getting married. We're super excited to see them. We haven't seen them since May when we graduated. They're friends from college and uh, they currently are in Wisconsin. They're moving to San Francisco. So we're excited they're gonna be in the same state as us, but they're getting married in Wisconsin, so we're traveling there. I have done, and Rob, we've both done a ton of traveling, um, lots of flights to and from school, and we've also traveled other places. So I wanted to just share what I bring in my carry-on backpack uh, for a quick weekend trip. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything that is packed in my backpack um, and how I packed it and then go through each of the things. So this backpack is actually new. I haven't traveled it with it before. My aunt got it for me for Christmas and I, or for my birthday. Yeah, for my birthday. And I love it. It's super cute. It's com compact, but it fits a ton of stuff. Um, it zips and unzips really well. So you, you can like access the whole thing. And I really like it. So I'm excited to travel with it. So let me show you what I have in here. Okay, so. Now that I'm all set up, here's the backpack. Okay, so the first thing that I bring when I travel is a water bottle. Um, I like these swell ones. Uh, most airports have places where you can just fill up water bottles because I always need water when I travel, but water is so freaking expensive at the airport. So I like bringing my own bottle and even if they don't have fill up stations and I buy a bottle of water, I like putting it into one of these because it, the swell ones are really good and they keep it cool and like the water stays cold for the whole flight. So these are really nice. The next thing I had in here but took out is my tripod. Um, I'm gonna vlog a little bit of the trip so I'm gonna bring my tripod, but I am currently using that to film. So that was in here, but now it's over there. Okay, the next thing I have in here is just my wallet. Um, I have all of my cards and like insurance information. Plus I always bring cash when I travel. Just good to have cash. You never know when you're gonna need cash. So I always make sure I have cash when I travel. I also often, I keep like all of my change, but Often before I travel, I'll take a lot of it out. One time I was actually stopped at security because there was so much change in my wallet, like coins that they had to like look through it and swab it because they couldn't see through it on the whatever x-ray thing, whatever they're called. Um, so I usually try to like take a bunch of it out before I travel, plus then it's not as heavy. Okay, the next thing that I have is I have this cute little pouch that I've had for a couple of years. It's actually from St. John, an island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It has a little donkey um, because they have donkeys on the island. So I got this probably four years ago now. And this is what I carry all of my like electronic slash chargers in. So I'll show you what's in here. So as far as electronics and chargers go, obviously I bring my phone charger. I usually bring an extra cord just because I'm paranoid about like one of the cords not working and I don't have that in here. So I'm gonna have to add an extra cord. So I have my phone charger and then I have, um, we're renting a car. So I have a car charger to use in the car. Um, I don't know if we're gonna need it, but I'd, I'm very paranoid about not having enough phone charge. So I'm gonna bring this just so I have it in the car if we need it. And then I also have just a portable charger. You just uh, charge it and plug in the cord to this and it this gives like at least 100% if not more. So I really like this. I also have a Mophie one that I will probably bring if I can find it because that one's really good too. And then I have my AirPods and I always bring an extra pair of headphones because again, I'm paranoid that like these are gonna run out of battery or not work. So I always bring a pair of headphones. So that's all I have in here. I'll also put my watch charger in here, which I haven't yet, so I need to pack that. Um, but I just keep all of the electronics into this little bag, just so it's all like easy to access and you don't have to worry about like digging through your whole bag because everything's right in here. Okay, next up, I obviously bring essential oils. So I'll show you, this is a little essential oil carrying case that I got off of, I think, Amazon. It fits like 10 different oils and it fits rollers, it fits 15 ml bottles and five ml bottles. And if you have like dropper tops on them, it fits it. So this is perfect, it's really compact. I like it because 
it like it feels sturdy and I'm not worried about anything breaking. So I'll real quick just show you what I'm bringing. So I'm bringing my Tranquil Roller to help me sleep because I'm not going to bring a diffuser since I'm literally going to be there for 36 hours and don't want to deal with bringing a diffuser. Um, so I'm just bringing my Tranquil Roller. I'm bringing cedar wood to roll onto the bottom of my feet at night. And... I'm bringing vetiver to put on my big toes at night. These are the three I use every night, so I'm bringing these three. Okay, next I have a couple of different rollers in here. I have my Liquid Calm roller, which is Stress Away, Frankincense, Copaiba, or Copaiba, I don't know how to say that, and Lavender. And so I like this one for like plane rides. I get very anxious during plane rides, so I'm gonna bring this with me, and then I'm gonna bring my Magic roller, which is Valor, Frankincense, Stress Away and Orange that my friend Becca told me about and I really like this one. It just is like calming, centering, grounding. That's a good one. I'm bringing my Tummy Tamer Roller which is Digize and Peppermint with coconut oil. Always good to have on hand. And then of course I'm bringing my Thieves Roller Immune Support. I will roll this on the bottom of my feet before I get on the plane. I'll roll it on my lymph nodes before and after the plane, during the plane ride, when I get there, when I get to the hotel, everything. I will use this for everything. And then of course, I am bringing Stress Away. This is like the perfume that I wear slash I just use this all the time. So I'm bringing my little bottle of Stress Away with a roller top on it. I'm bringing a little bottle of peppermint. Um, this is really good to help keep you awake. I have a feeling I'm gonna be exhausted because we're taking an overnight flight and it's just gonna be a long like travel day. So this will be great to help keep me awake. And then lastly, I'm bringing my Valor. Um, this is just like my favorite oil other than Stress Away. I keep dropping it, but it just smells so good and relaxing to me. Um, I sometimes will put it like behind my ears or on one of my big toes before bed, or I just like smelling it. I'm gonna bring this because why not? I had an extra spot. <laughs> so that's all of the oils that I'm bringing for this trip. Again, it's a quick trip, so not bringing too much more. The next thing that I'm bringing is my little makeup bag. Because I'm traveling overnight, I just like to have this with me um, if I need to like reapply when I get there. So I literally just have like my, I use mascara, eyeliner, and concealer. That's it. That's all the makeup I use. So that's all I'm bringing in this little bag. I'm also bringing deodorant because, you know, when you're traveling all day, you probably want to reapply deodorant. And if you watched my last video, two videos ago on essential oils, um, you'll know that I use Young Living toothpaste as deodorant. So it's perfect. It's compact. It's small enough to go on a plane. So put that right into my little makeup bag. Okay, and then the last two things that I have in the bane pocket of my carry-on are my iPad and a book. So I like bringing my iPad. I like watching shows. I download shows from Netflix or Amazon just to like have on here to watch. I usually try to download a couple of movies. I always just bring this and download some shows so that I have something to watch. Um, it also just helps me like sleep. And like I said, I get kind of anxious on plane rides, so it helps me drown out like what's going on and I just focus on the show. I also absolutely love reading when I have time. So I'm bringing a new book. It's called The Woman in the Window. Um, it's like a thriller and I've had this for a while and haven't gotten to start it yet. So I'm bringing this, hopefully I'll get to start it. Okay, so that's everything that I have in the main pocket. And then there's this perfect little front pocket here. So in this pocket, I have a pair of long socks. I usually wear um, like I'm not going to bring boots because I'm literally going to be going to a wedding and going to the airport. So I'm just going to bring like regular tennis shoes and I like bringing long socks to wear on the plane. That way I can take my shoes off, have these socks on and not worry about like walking around on the gross plane and staying warm because I always get freezing cold on airplanes. So I'm keeping that in the outside pocket. Then the other thing, I have this really adorable little pouch that my grandma gave me. And in here I have like anything that you could need. So let me just show you what's in here. So first of all, I have chapstick. I use this grapefruit lip balm from Young Living that I love and it smells good and it's great. I always get dehydrated slash like dry skin and lips on planes. So gotta have this with me. I have my little thieves hand sanit or sanitizing spray. I'm going to use this to spray down like the tray and the, uh, what are they called? Arm rests um, on the plane, just to, you know, germs, gross, keep that away. Um, I have a little tiny compact mirror 
that I keep with me. So it's nice to have, um, especially because I wear contacts and sometimes I will take them out, but I need a little mirror to take, do that. So that's what I have there. Um, I'm bringing band-aids because if you didn't know, I sliced my finger on an olive jar and it still needs to be covered. So extra band-aids for that. Of course, hair ties, hair clip, extra contacts. I wear uh, dailies and they get dried out sometimes. So I always, always, always carry like extra contacts with me. So extra contacts. And then there's just more contacts and band-aids in there. And then I have this cute little like pill carrying pouch that I just keep some like Motrin and anti like, like stomach pills. That all goes into this adorable little pouch that goes into the outside of this. So this backpack actually fits a ton. I'll probably also bring like a couple of granola bars or some other snacks. I hate buying food from the airport. It never tastes good and it's super expensive. So I'm gonna bring some food, hopefully won't have to buy anything and won't be starving. So I'll put it all back in now and kind of show you how easy everything fits and how roomy this bag is. This bag is a Herschel, I think um, that my aunt got it from Nordstrom, but it's really cute. I just really like the fabric and the color is perfect and it fits a lot of stuff. So that is what I'm bringing. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in here. So I'm putting these two into this pocket that I have. And then on the bottom is my makeup because that's probably what I'll need the least. Then I'm putting my chargers and then my oils and then my wallet. And then I have to put everything back into this little guy. All right, and this just goes into this front pocket here along with my socks. Water bottle goes on top and then the tripod will go on top of that. And I still have room in here. I'm gonna put the food, it doesn't get too heavy, which is nice. I used to bring so much stuff in my carry-on and I try not to anymore because it just gets overwhelming and then you're worried you're gonna lose stuff and it's just a mess. So I try not to bring too much stuff. And like I said, this is like a 36 hour trip. So not gonna need a ton of stuff. I'm literally going to a hotel, sleeping, going to a wedding, then going back to the airport and flying home. So I hope that this kind of gave you a good idea of what you should pack in your carry-on when you're traveling on a plane, um, just some essentials that you always should bring and what I'm bringing to entertain myself and travel. All right, so with that, I've got my bag ready. I'm ready to go to Wisconsin. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more of what I pack when I travel, please let me know down below in the comments because I'm going to be doing a ton of traveling this year and I would love to share with you guys. If you're not already subscribed, we would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube family. And that's all I got. See you in the next one. Bye.